Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. But this thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Baldi. <laughs> he is lost to me. The forge is destroyed. Because of him! I mean it this time, man. When we get out of here, I'm out. I need you to respect that. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Tell me what I have to do. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Peter, where's Drax? I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. The galaxy may need guarding, Peter, but not by us. Gamora, wait. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. Next up, is your Kodak's device <sighs> making you sick? A new study. Eight or nine rounds, uh, then we find Hall. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. Earlier today, reports came in of a deformed monster rampaging across the galaxy, attacking planets at random. It appeared as if the creature was able to draw life out of innocent bystanders without even touching them. Your time is up, Star-Lord. I will hunt you down to the ends of the galaxy. I shall destroy nowhere. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you anywhere. Death is coming, Peter Quill. Holy crap! I can't believe the team just ditched us when we've got this planet nuking lady to deal with. Perfect timing. Now we gotta deal with Hala as a death monster with a gun that can blow a hole in a planet. Oh yeah. We are so screwed it's not even funny. It's kind of funny, in a fatalistic sort of way. Guardian's gone. Drax dead. And Hala just seems to be getting stronger. Yeah, the last couple of days have gone from being a pile of crap to a pile of crap on fire. <sighs> but even with all that, I just want you to know, I believe in you, man. I mean, you always figure something out. Thanks for the vote of confidence, buddy, but uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure. Ah, come on, I don't know what to do when you get all mopey like this. You're acting like Groot. There's only one way we can stop her. We need to get the Guardians back together. Peter! We have to get the Guardians back together! Groot? What are you doing here? Is there an award for quickest turnaround? Because if there is, <laughs> you'd win it. Didn't you just leave? This is serious, Peter! I am Groot! Oh no. This is worse than I thought. I could sense that remnants of the Forge still existed. They must be inside of Hala. 
It appears where the Forge granted life, Hala can now take it. With every life she claims, she'll gain more power. We're doomed. Are you friggin' kidding me? I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Oh, great. This just keeps getting better and better. There's nothing better about this. The Eternity Forge is highly unstable. It would be extremely toxic to Hala. It's likely that she needs to kill to keep herself alive. So you're saying if she stopped killing people... The Forge would consume her. I am Groot. But you have seen what she has become. Hala is too powerful a foe for the Guardians to take on. Well, we're certainly not going to beat her with that kind of attitude. Oh, well. I'm sorry it's hard for me to be positive when I can feel every person that Hala murders. I am Groot! But the Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. It wasn't all bad, Mantis. We had plenty of good times. Come on, guys, help me out here. Look, Mantis, you didn't see us at our best. I am Groot. Wait, you want to do what? Groot wants to show us something. Me, man, I'm innocent. You got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry. I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. did not know this was an animal prison, too. I am Groot. And I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated. You had a weapon, and I did hey, not. You take it easy. Ah, knock it off! All right, all right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me... Star-Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me. Especially you. Hmm. I am Groot. Adam. I can't take anyone with facial hair seriously. Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Groot. Yeah, you already said that. Hmm. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. We're too good-looking to stay locked up in here. Don't you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever gonna see the sweet light of day again. I am Groot. And I'm still Star-Lord. Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there! All of you! I will not settle! No prison can contain me. 
I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. I am Groot! You all gotta stop fighting, or I'll make you stop. <laughs> I like this pathetic human. He shows bravery, even when he will certainly be pummeled to death. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it... Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not mm. below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree... Well, you're gonna have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You're the perfect distraction, so that... You rooks? I'm not gonna lie, a couple of you might die, but know that I will never forget you. Or, we could just use the keycard. I love this tree. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Escape. You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was gonna say friendship, but escape will do. up together I never knew you're not a team or a family or friends in the conventional sense I do miss that time <laughs> but we've changed for the better back then we were just trying to break out of prison now we're trying to save innocent lives we're the guardians of the galaxy it's time we start acting like it and let's go get them back I am Groot! I am Groot! Okay. Just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea! What? You're going to love it!
Where, uh... Where are we? You and I have merged minds. This is inside my mind. It seems kind of empty. I've never shared this with anyone before. And you didn't die or anything. This is amazing. I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. Next time, would you mind giving me a heads up first? Oh, I'm sorry. I just got a little excited. This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. And those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. In order to find her, we'll need to build a bridge. Uh... Bridge? Yes. A bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. <sighs> okay. Let's get this party started. It'll be fun. If we can reach your friends' islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Oh, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. We went halfway across the galaxy. Hmm. We went halfway across the galaxy. We went halfway across the galaxy? Got chased by that psycho holla for a party trick? a big, big problem. You're doing well, Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. Clearly, I got my revenge. That's curious. Your bond with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You... You can sense Drax, but... Drax is dead. I... can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? No right to see that. You had no right to see that. You had no right to see that. Those are my memories. My dead wife and daughter shall have their vengeance. This is very unsettling. But please keep trying. Sacrificing all my extra I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. Doing great. 
I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so... deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your happiest moment with them? I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. Hey, I was surrounded by a Drax the Destroyer! Drax the Destroyer has purpose once again! Yes. Drax is back! If Drax is somehow still out there, your feelings can lead us to him. By Adoran Hey, I was surrounded by Adoran fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. Your emotions towards Rocket are extremely complicated and varied. I can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. There are so many contrasting emotions that you feel towards Gamora. I know this place. I've been here. This is Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? Maybe because it's the only home she's known. She never stuck around anywhere before she joined the Guardians. To be alone in the world... It's not easy. So, I know where Gamora is. You built bridges to the other islands. You should see where they lead. What does this mean, Mantis? It means Drax is alive! And it means you left him for dead. Poor Drax! He must be so lonely! That's literally what he wanted! If that's true, I can't imagine he'll be very happy now. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. Rocket stayed with us, so that island will probably show us the Milano. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy for someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can. Wait, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Don't worry, Peter. This is a safe space. It doesn't feel very safe. So, I guess we just have to pick him up. Who should we get first? 
Let's go grab Drax. Let's go. I'm getting the hell out of town. Don't worry. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You! You did... That worm was... That was... You came out of it. Like you were inside it, and then you, you came out? That's amazing! You doubted me, Peter Quill. <sighs> now what's wrong, man? You look pretty down for a guy who just defied death. I was merely reflecting on the circumstances. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... Proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. I don't know. Maybe this means that you moved on from your loss. If that is true, then it is as I had feared. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration, and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kumaria. I think I am afraid that with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kumaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. You're going through some really heavy stuff, Drax. It's okay to be afraid. I have never faced a problem like this. One I could not simply kill. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try, For someone who says he wants to die, you suck at it. Like, I don't know what to tell you, Drax. Maybe, uh, maybe you're just invincible. Of course. I must be invincible. But this only makes things worse. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians. But part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist. I don't think Kamaria would want you to get yourself killed just so you could see her. You can't just give up, Drax. There is so much left to live for. I always taught Kamaria to persist, no matter how daunting the adversary. I will fight this fear. And I will defeat it. For her. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala. Hey, it might be a garbage heap, but it's our garbage heap. Most of that garbage is yours, Peter.
All right. Huh. You expecting any calls today? Starlord! Ah! I do not know how you escaped the shrine, but there is nowhere you can run to now. You and your guardians will suffer greatly for what you have done. Uh, sorry. I don't recognize this number. Who is this? You know who this is. Hala the Accuser! You have stolen everything from me. I will kill everyone you've ever known. You're unbelievable, Quill. I am Groot. Yeah, you said it. Did Hala always look that... gnarly? It's as I said. The Forge is taking its toll on her. Yeesh. If she's coming from nowhere, we've got a hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? Nah, I'm sure I'll think of something in a moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve. Following me here, of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave. Or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. I'm sorry, are, are you threatening me? Not a threat. A promise. <laughs> Whoa! You said you'd keep everyone together! <laughs> Hala is more powerful than ever. Is dead! Drax isn't dead! What? <sighs> Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? I was working up to it! Work up to it faster next time. He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not! He killed that space worm, and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his... well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What?! Ah! I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. You call this working out?! The Guardians are scattered, Drax nearly got eaten, you almost killed me two seconds ago. Oh, and Hall is out to destroy the galaxy because of me. But despite that, we're all unscathed. So Drax happened to survive, but you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something, anything. You're asking if I feel bad? Of course I feel bad! Then why won't you show it? Hey, what do you want from me? You want me to wander around crying? That isn't my style, Gamora. You shrug through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I... Tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. Nebula made her choice. Her death? It wasn't your fault. <sighs> Rocket pushes people away to hide his pain. Drax revels in his rage. But I don't know how to get past it. 
all the lives I've ruined. I've hurt so many people. Despicable acts I did to serve Thanos. You haven't hurt me, Gamora. Ever. Everyone that gets close to me winds up hurt. If I go back with you, I'll just make it worse. I don't even know why you bothered coming here. Because you're the only one on the Milano who doesn't drive me completely insane. <laughs> now you know how I feel. Gamora, you're my best friend. I don't want to lose you. I close my eyes at night, and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. You have to forgive yourself, Gamora. It's the only way you can move forward. Right. You're right. Hey, Drax. Surprised to admit it, I'm actually glad to see you. I too am glad you have not perished in a violent and agonizing way. Perhaps by sudden evisceration, or Bailanese organ chewing. I once saw a man have his organs chewed. <laughs> How we laughed at his pain. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, dude. Yes, watching someone suffer is hilarious. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot! Groot says it's so good to see you all. Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Yeah. First off, I wanted to apologize. I was acting like kind of a... Jerk? Jackass? Coward? Ooh, ooh, I am Groot? Yes. I am sorry for all of those things. I wish I had better news for you, but, uh, things have turned into a bad monster movie out there. Yes. Hala and the Eternity Forge have merged into a singular being. But where the relic granted life, Hala absorbs life. We accidentally created a supervillain. Go team. Yes, we created a worthy adversary. Mantis is right. I've seen what she can do. Hala contacted me. She said this won't end until we're dead or she is. There's only one thing we can do. I'll get the cyanide pills. I am grooved. Fine, fine, I'll just get mine. The Rodan is right. Our chances of victory have not improved since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on a ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. That's as good a place to start as any. And it's the only plan we've got. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Hey, Gamora. Hey.
I wanted to thank you again. What you said back at that training hall, I really appreciate it. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, I don't know what might have happened. Well, uh, thanks for not killing me. Oh, <laughs> come on. I wasn't actually going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, you could have fooled me. So, what was on your mind? I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean, but the others look to you as their leader. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Keep working on it. So, um, I think that we should, you know, maybe talk. Just to talk about, you know, <laughs> you and uh, me. <laughs> I mean, I just care for you a lot. I know. Oh, you, you do. Uh, okay. Uh, so, how do you feel? Peter, I... Yeah, I, I uh, just, um, maybe... Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just uh, put a pin right in it. Just, just, just... That's the, that's the pin going in the, uh, yeah. Just for later. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. You have nothing to apologize for, Drax. Perhaps on Earth, selfishness is commonplace. But on Kylos, it is most shameful. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm, how'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. Drax, <laughs> you are a beast. I can't believe you did all that. I agree. It was quite impressive. Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, the sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile, gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged, moist, reeking, victorious. <sighs> I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. I'm sorry we left you for dead. I do not blame you for your ineptitude. I also thought I was bound to die. It was a reasonable misunderstanding. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. Later, Drax. What happens later? Oh, hello, Peter. Something wrong? No. Well, 
This isn't the way I imagined the prophecy of the Celestial One to turn out. On one hand, you destroyed the Eternity Forge, which I think was the right call. You do? But on the other hand, Hala is a horrible monster now. What if the prophecy is wrong? I'm afraid no matter what I do, I can't escape the Forge. I was sure that when the Celestial One chose the fate of the Forge, I would finally find peace. But you're free now. Isn't that a good thing? I suppose that much is true. The Forge's power would be much worse if I was still trapped in that tomb. Was there something you wanted to ask? Once this is all over, what are you going to do? I hadn't considered it. I think maybe I'd like to travel. There's so much I never got to experience when I was locked away. It would be exciting to live my own life instead of laying down inside a box. I'm glad you're back with us, Mantis. Honestly, I'm glad too. I'm sorry I left before. I was just caught up in the moment, and the strain was too much on my emotions. I know it wasn't for very long, but being alone and surrounded by strangers was overwhelming. If Groot hadn't found me, I don't know what I would have done. How are you holding up? It's not easy. I can feel every life Hala takes. Now that she's merged with the Forge's power, I'm okay for now, but it takes a lot of energy out of me. Once this is all over, I'll be much better. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I do not. You... What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. Taking down her gun sounds like explosions might be involved. Are explosions involved? Maybe. Right. So, far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. So lay it on me. What do you want to know? Is that the weapon? Right. I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this, these points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Uh, are we insane enough to attack a super weapon head on? We are. I mean, you are, since you'll be handling this part. Wait, what, <laughs> me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom! It'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship's system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody decided to destroy the Eternity Forge, those meat freezers are offline. And all that power is getting diverted to the super weapon. Big ol' hallway like this? 
great place for a distraction. What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kind of like the hard drive for the ship. If someone don't cover those access ways, reinforcements will be sent straight to the core and overwhelm the hacker in no time. We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. Someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Ah, this is my favorite kind of plan. It's got all the adjectives. Mine too. Oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. You're joking. Please tell me you're joking. Not this time. I know I got a record for pulling your leg, but we're actually gonna need that helmet. All right, I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Oh, baby, am I looking forward to this? You had me worried back then, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Pete. I've got a roll in mind for you, Rocket. Oh, yeah? I want you to hack the computer. Logical choice. I won't let you down. Catch you in a bit. Mm-hmm. You know, if uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you... Mm. I am Groot. Yeah. Me too. I am Groot. If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. Someone has to retrieve Hollis' helmet, and I think your branches have the perfect reach for the job. Hmm. I am Groot! Uh, not sure Groot should be going off on his own, but you're in charge. I believe in you, Groot. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. Really? Pete got in touch with his feelings? That actually worked? I am Groot. It is strange to have so many on the... So, Rocket has this plan. A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So what role do I play in this disaster? I need you to cause a distraction. Keep the Kree off our backs. Okay. I've got a few ideas. Leave it to me, Peter. See you in a bit. Hey, Drex. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. I've just got to divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. You're on protection duty. Make sure no one gets to the computer. Yes. I will defend that inanimate piece of machinery with all of my strength. Because I am invincible, nothing will stand in my way. Pete, looks like Hala just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hala's ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, and of course someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hala's face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. I do not believe I have seen that happen. Ever. Are you sure this plan will work? Yeah, we ain't exactly got a stellar track record when it comes to plans going our way. 
I trust each and every one of you to do what you do best. Now things will go wrong, they always do. But we'll figure it out as we go. We have everyone we need to do that right here. Uh-oh, here comes a patented quill I mean, look at Rocket. Damn it. I should not have drawn attention to myself. What should I be looking at? Is there something stuck in his fur? He's the number one smartass in the galaxy. And damn proud of him. You should be. Your self-confidence crushing wit is legendary. Oh, Peter, over here. It's me, Drax, the Destroyer. I volunteer to go next. Oh, I can never forget you, big guy. Do not hold back. Tell me what I am. An overgrown bodybuilder who can barely read, write, or understand basic symbolism, yet... Look at all he has accomplished. I can too read. The words just hurt my eyes. They're so small. It's okay, buddy. And... Don't. And Gamora. Peter. The woman I love. Peter. The woman I like. Peter. The woman I would like to love if she were maybe open to that sort of thing. Don't answer that right now. Uh, and... What about... Mantis? What about me? I don't know what's going on here. Who I still haven't gotten a chance to really know. Yes, because we are always running from people trying to kill us. Well, whenever that ends, maybe we can spend some one-on-one -on -one time. And last, but certainly not least, Groot. I am Groot. The perfect plant. Strong, resilient, self-watering. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I am Groot. Everything you could ask for, and more. Sure, we have our differences, but we all share something in common. Arrest records. Trust issues. I am Groot. Dependency on oxygen-rich atmospheres to survive. Not exactly. We're survivors. No matter what life throws our way, we persevere. As long as we have each other, we can beat anything. Hala doesn't stand a chance. That was actually a good speech. Except for that love interest thing. Yes! Everyone is feeling inspired! Then let's rock and roll. Peter, before you came back for me, I was ready to give up on the Guardians, because I thought you already had. Thanks for proving me wrong. Okay, this is it. Here's hoping everything works out. You deserve it happening to us at least once. I've got your back, Gamora. Good. I've got yours, too. Look sharp, guys. Holla's coming in hot. I am Groot. No, I ain't a tree. It's a phrase. You know, like, she's right on top of us. I am Groot. Yeah, that does sound worse. Hang on. Rubble coming your way. I'm, uh, I'm almost to the, the computer core. I am Groot. Exercise on the target, okay? Well, what happened? Did you die again? Nope. Totally alive. <laughs> Fly on, human. 
Guys, how's it going in there? I'm all hacked in. Plus an added bonus. Her computer's now transmitting some of your music to the entire ship. They're hearing that trash over the air intercom. <laughs> okay, Pete, you're good to go. Inject it and plant the bomb. One down. Star Lord, how is your mission proceeding? It's going great. Ah, uh, it's going less great. About to have some company. Gotta hurry. If they fire that weapon now, I'm host. How's that protection going, Drax? Oh, Peter. What fun I am having. Oh, the blood! It is everywhere. Even in my mouth. <laughs> okay, good to know. Heads up! How's it going in there, Peter? I'm on the last station now. Now would be a solid time for that distraction. I've got it covered. I disabled all gravity in this sector. There are a lot of upset Kree floating around in here. Ah, better put them out of their misery. Hold, please. Well, looks like that got everyone's attention. Charges are planted. Pressed? Marginally. Once one of the Kree fires that weapon, the whole ship's gonna go, holy crap, that's a huge explosion. Uh, yeah, I think that distraction worked a little too well. There are no more Kree on the bridge. What? Looks like someone just volunteered to go hit that button then. Uh, do I have to do everything myself? I am. Kid, you got the helmet? I am good. Perfect. Now smash it to pieces. <laughs> Wait a minute. You never actually needed the helmet, did you? Nope. But now Hollow won't have one for a big fat head. <laughs> Rocket. What? Oh, come on! Allah is heading for the bridge. Prepare for battle. Here we go. How do you like that? This ends now. <laughs>
<sighs> nice one. You think you can defeat me? The Forge and I are one. You have only made me stronger. Thanks for wanting to do this, baby. Can't imagine being in some sterile hospital. I'm missing out on this view. Just take it easy while we're out here, okay? I'm worried about you. I won't scare you like that again, I promise. That means you'll have to drive us back. You, me, Stars, this is my happy place. Hey, you want to build it back up a bit? Can I use the lighter fluid? <laughs> Come on, that's for amateurs. The 
Don't let it burn out. Hey, how else are we gonna roast marshmallows? <laughs> That's one way to do it. My goal is fire. I give you fire. <laughs> You're lucky you still got your eyebrows. Fire's... Fire's looking low, huh? You wanna build it back up a bit? The fire looks fine to me. Wait, what? It's practically... out. That's strange, I... I could've sworn I... Mom! I... I, I shouldn't have brought you out here. I just... I wanted one last weekend with you. I was reckless. I wasn't thinking straight. No matter what happens, I'm glad we came. I'm sorry, Peter. I just didn't want you to forget who I really was. I don't want you to remember me like that, okay? I'm still me. I'd never remember you like that. You're the coolest, most amazing mom anyone could ask for. I love you. Now, why don't you build up that fire a little bit, huh? It's starting to get low. Mom. so alive. We're happy for you, Drex, but I think I can smell my fur burning. Stay sharp. We don't know where... must be affecting Hala's mind. I've missed you so much. She doesn't know what's going on. I never thought I would see you again. <laughs> Your son is dead, Hala. No. No, that cannot be. You are right here. You are right here. Come closer. You didn't save me. You didn't save anyone. You failed your people. Baldin is murderer. Murderer! The green perish with me. But so will you! Him. 
my son. spread through her like poison. That wasn't how I expected it all to end. <sighs> so, we did it. All is dead. The galaxy is saved. I know I should feel good about it, but... Ugh. We did the right thing, didn't we? I... I really don't know, Gamora. Ugh, I guess there's no going back now. We did all that we could. I think I could use a drink. I am Groot. Yeah. Let's go. Guys, still open? If there's booze on the shelf, they're open. Uh, hey, can I come out now? Is it over? Yes, you can stop cowering like a baby. And we're all pretty thirsty. I know now isn't the best time, but uh, you still haven't paid your tab. Are you kidding me? Dude, come on. We just saved your life. I mean, we just saved your bar. We saved the galaxy. Pick one. Any of those should more than pay our debt. You're right. You're right. Consider your tab forgotten. I'll start you a new one right now. <laughs> what is this? It tastes terrible. I am Groot. <laughs> kind of an acquired taste. You get used to it eventually. I don't think I want to acquire a taste for this. I am rude. <laughs> Peter, now that this is all over, there's something I've been meaning to say. What is it? I... When I was trapped in that tomb, all alone, the only thing I cared about was my own freedom. And to obtain that freedom, I exploited memories of your mother. I lied to you, made you think she was alive for my own benefit. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I used you. It was a selfish thing to do. It's in the past now, Mantis. There's no point in dwelling on it now. I know. But I still feel terrible for what I did. The more time I spent with you, the more I discovered what you've been through. I can tell you and your mother were very close. I could feel it in your heart. Destroying the forge and losing the chance to see her again. That couldn't have been easy. I think my mom would have wanted me to move on from her. 
She always said, look forward, not back. Yes, I suppose. But still... What would you say if I told you... I could give you a moment with your mother? What? A final chance to speak with her. See her one last time. I would say that was incredible. I wish I could do more, but at least I could grant you this. The remains of the Forge would be able to let me connect with someone who has... died. But only for a few minutes, and only if you want. No. No, I... I don't want to do that. My mom is gone. Okay, seeing her again won't bring her back. Besides, I have a new family. I think she'd be happy for me. Of course. <sighs> the Forge no longer holds any power over me. I don't know what to do. Now that I am finally free of it, my life was so entwined with its purpose. With it gone, I feel okay. I am no longer overwhelmed by the emotions of others. We could always use an empath on the team. Why don't you join the Guardians? Officially. Really? Definitely. Thank you, Peter! It will be nice to have a home instead of a box. My head finally feels... clear. Thank you, Peter. For all you've done. So, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> Don't you know? Everything works out for me. Shut up. You know what I mean. I'm proud of you, Peter. Yeah? You kept us together after all. I had many, many doubts it would happen. So many doubts. Oh, daily doubts. I honestly couldn't count them all. I mean, I didn't exactly do it on my own. I'll take some credit. Yeah, some. A bit. Just a, a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, never change, Peter. How about a refill? My hero. Who seriously need to tell us when there's a toast happening? I drink this toxic liquid in honor of the galaxy. May it stay guarded. What about to new friends? I've never had them before. I've got a better one. To vacation! I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Family's a good one, too. Hurry up, Pete. My arm's getting tired. To guarding the galaxy. I hope we never have to do it again. At least for a little while. Ah, nothing says success like finally being lazy. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have another situation. You have to help us. You're the first ones we called. Now. Where were we? 